Xbox just announced something that might risk my loyalties to physical media. Um, Xbox Game Pass. Holy crap. Let's talk about that. Uncle Chad. Could 2018 be the year of the Xbox? Jeez, well it's starting to look like it. So news has just come out that the Xbox Game Pass subscription service just got friggin' epic and has seemingly put notice on most brick and mortar shops out there. Um, I'll go into my pros and cons with that in a moment, but just to let you know, for those of you who don't know, um, this morning I got a press release um, informing about Xbox Game Pass is now going to be, obviously for the monthly price still, um, every future Xbox exclusive game is going to be available via Game Pass at launch globally. So that means your Crackdown, your Sea of Thieves, your ne next Halo, your next Gears game, your next whatever Xbox exclusive. You could in theory go, you know what, I want to give this exclusive a go. Let's just put down 10 bucks or whatever it is in Australia for conversion um, and I'll play that game. You can download the entire game for as long as you're paying for the subscription service. How insane is that? So instead of going out to your shop and downing you know, 90 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever in Australia for a new uh, exclusive Xbox title, um, you can just pay down your, your minimum like your net Netflix fee and just download the game and play it. That's insane. <laughs> like, that is, that is really insane. Like, it's even got me, like I love my physical games, my physical media. Um, I'll go out of my way to, to buy the collector's edition or the physical copy of the game at least. Just because I'm still, I like that. But you could save money. <laughs> and that's kind of now where I'm like, ooh, ooh. I'm kind of tempted to be like, you know what? I could pay probably for a year's worth of Xbox Game Pass from one full retail price game. Just think about that for a moment. So one full price retail game essentially will get you an annual subscription to Xbox Game Pass. Not only do you have access to the entire catalog that's in the Game Pass uh, universe, I'll call it for now, you know, 100 games or whatever it is, uh, they get cycled out like Netflix movies do. Um, but every exclusive Xbox game coming out to that platform, to that service, and you can just get it straight away. <sighs> um, yeah, that's really tempting, really tempting. And you know, also there's other benefits for Xbox Game Pass. If you like the game uh, that you've downloaded through Game Pass, you get a 20% discount on the full game price. So. You know, if there's a notice coming out like Netflix does, so they send out, you know, what movies are leaving this month. Um, if you notice that a game that you've been playing and enjoying on the service is leaving, you can be like, you know what, well, I really like that game, I want to keep playing it. And you get a 20% discount on the game and I'm pretty sure all the DLC as well. So that's good, that's really good. I, I just, I wanted to jump on and support this service, but for me, there wasn't enough in the catalogue that I thought I would get use out of. But now, like this is literally, pardon the pun, but game changing. Like, no other platform out there has something like this. Like PlayStation doesn't have something like this. They've got PlayStation Now, whatever it is, but you stream those games. You don't actually download them to play them. And you, and you don't get a discount as far as I understand if you wanted to buy the full price. Correct me if I'm wrong, by the way in the comments, but this is just how I have known it um, in conversations online. So, and Nintendo doesn't even have yet something like this. I, I know they're going to do something within their subscription, you get a free Nintendo game, like an old retro game, two a month or something like that. Uh, but this is literally game changing, like it's just essentially going, you know what, if you want our exclusive games, this is the service for you, you know, and you can save money for it. You get to experience the catalog and I, I see looking back retrospectively um, 
with their games for Windows service, and that didn't quite work. Uh, Xbox Live on Windows didn't quite work. Um, now, the most recent equivalent was uh, Xbox Crossplay or Crossbuy or whatever it was, like uh, Xbox Anywhere, sorry. And um, you buy a digital title and you can play it on the PC as well. Um, and I would assume most of these games going forward are going to have that, the Xbox exclusives. Um, so if you bought the Xbox Games Pass service and you played on the PC and they seem to be getting in a habit of putting the exclusives on the PC as well. So, yeah, it's just, uh, you can see there's been a push for this, like, Phil Spencer, man, props to you, that's, like, I didn't see it until now, where I was like, wow, okay, I get it. Um, does it make the console obsolete if they're going to do that for PC, offer the service on PC? Well, no, because not every game is going to be Play Anywhere, so you'll still need to be on the Xbox console, which is fine, that's my home, um, you know, represent. Uh, I've yet to get an Xbox One X yet. Um, you know, if anyone wants to donate me one, go for it. Xbox, looking at you, come on, come on, just give me one. I would have bought my own by now, but I attract money like I do my women. So if you had to ask me, Chunt, are you going to drop physical media and just go Game Pass? <sighs> Look, um, I don't want to, well, I don't know what agreements are in place with the Xbox Game Pass and how much money or uh, how much of a cut the developers get out of that subscription to have their game hosted on there. Um, I like paying retail price for a new game. I don't, I'll try and avoid, especially with the new gen, I'll try and avoid um, secondhand games as much as possible because, you know, I want to I want to support the developers that I like or the games that I buy if I'm enjoying them. Uh, I want, you know, I want to give them my money, <laughs> you know, so they, they can possibly make more of what I like. Uh, so, Netflix seems to be very lucrative. And if it's going to be like that, then I am very, very keen on supporting this. Um, can I build it in, like, another subscription into my monthly bills? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll have a look at it. Um, I didn't account for it yet, but now I probably will because thinking about it, the amount of money I'd save, like, I'd have access to the games that I normally wouldn't buy, but I can now try, and it wouldn't cost me much. Same goes, I don't play every Xbox exclusive, so even that's more of an incentive to be like, I'll give it a go. You know, I, it's just like Netflix. I've watched so much stuff on Netflix that I never would have gone out of my way to see or pay for, just because it's there, it's ready, ready to go at my fingertips, you know? Um, it just, it seems such an awesome service. Like, I'm, I'm really not made of money at all, so like this service is even like, you know what, I can still play a lot of games and new games and it wouldn't, it wouldn't um, cost me anything really, like, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be paying as much as I have been. There's a lot to this and like parents, well you know parents want to buy their kid an Xbox One S or something like that, you can get them really cheap now, a couple hundred bucks and if they're like, you know what, we can't afford to kind of put an extra game or two on that, let's just go for this Game Pass service. You got access immediately to the key exclusive titles and a hundred more games at your fingertips. I don't know, I just, this report has just clicked on how awesome this service is now that they're going all in with their exclusives. Like I, I literally am like, holy shit, that is so good. I really want to get on it. So March, I think in March, this starts rolling out with Sea of Thieves being the first game. So essentially, you can be like, holy crap, Sea of Thieves is one of uh, Xbox's big releases this year. You can go 10 bucks, 15 bucks, whatever it is in Australia, gimme. And you can download it, play it as much as you want, as long as you're paying for the subscription service. And then go for all the other titles. Like, I've, I tried going all digital when the Xbox One launched, and I kind of, I don't know, I just fell back into my physical media stuff because it just felt more tangible and I got more value out of actually having something. Uh, but now, like my life circumstances have changed. I don't have a lot of room, like I have a whole place to myself, but I don't have a lot of room to keep stocking up on games all the time. Some priorities change, you know, blah, blah, blah. I can't 
I can't go splurging as much as I have done in previous years on gaming. So this to me seems like a very appealing, appealing circumstance um, and very timely. Uh, I can still get all my big gaming fixes from Xbox for cheap. You know, what's not to love about that? And you might give the argument about like the Xbox exclusive problem at the moment, but look, I've had a look through this magazine, the latest Xbox official Australian magazine, when it gives you the kind of the outline of what to expect in 2018 and beyond. Um, look, the, the future's bright. I'll tell you that, the future's bright for Xbox. Uh, Xbox isn't going anywhere. It's just offering us more service and they're being very, very competitive very competitive like the other playstation have been the king of the gaming world for ages now like nintendo yeah but even they haven't given us anything like this and playstation tried with as i mentioned with that now service now um playstation now service and it just wasn't quite what we needed our infrastructure wasn't there uh, the latency and actually streaming the games uh, it's still a problem I hear. I, I hope I'm getting across how awesome this actually is and how big of a game changer this is. You know, it's, it's really pushing the the world is digital like in the gaming space for those of us at home that game in the living room on consoles. Like people on Steam, you've had this for years. Like you, it's all digital on Steam and you guys, you know, this won't be new to you. Uh, but for the gaming space that I've been in, and probably most of you that watch this have been in. Uh, this is unreal. And Xbox leading the charge. Like, if this is a success, which Game Pass, it's it's not doing too bad. Like, from all the reports that I've seen, it's, it's actually quite successful so far. And the adaption rate's not bad. But with this, going all in with the exclusives, the things that make you actually buy the console in the first place, that entice you to the platform, holy shit, this is just more of a boon. Seriously, I hope you I hope you see how much of a change this is. So what happens to physical, like say this explodes. Say the adaption rate, like the millions and millions of people on Xbox Live Gold services or Xbox Live in general. Um, say hypothetically everybody, the millions and millions of supporters that pay the subscription to Xbox Live jump on the Xbox Game Pass and just you know, they stop going to game stores. Like, what happens? Like, I can't answer that. <laughs> but we all kind of, as much as we want to fight it, we all know digital is the way forward. Digital distribution is, it's a thing. You know, um, yes, some of us have data caps. Yes, some of us have slow internet. You know, I, I still suffer from parts of those problems. Uh, my internet's okay, it's reasonable to be able to download a full game, you know, I'll just leave it on overnight or something, or it's done in a few hours. But I, I'm fully aware there's, there's still a vast majority of portions of Australia that have shocking internet. Like Australia is like so low on the world scale of quality or speeds of internet, so I'm not sure how it'll go here, but I'm willing to take it on. Seriously, March. You could probably guarantee in March I'm willing to throw down my um, starting the subscription for Game Pass. Like I'm actually really excited for it now, knowing that I've got a hundred games worth of catalog with new exclusives on the go whenever I want, at the, at the go, like fingerprint, boom, give me that. The actual like physical stores where you go down to buy your games, that they're probably gonna have to change and try and adapt to this again. If this becomes a real big thing, they're gonna have to adapt. I don't know. And it just gives another reason for game players on Xbox platforms to be like, you know, I really don't feel like going down to the midnight launch for Halo. You know, I think I might just sit on my couch, you know, drink some beers. Oh, it's midnight. Boop, start to download, and go to bed. You know, and it'll be ready by morning, or depending on the internet, a couple of hours. If you do an all-nighter thing. You know, there's just that. Like, you don't have to drive down to a shop in your jammies or you know hang out a crowd of smelly people that didn't bother to shower that night to go down you know the work they're in their bed clothes already and they smell it's happened I, maybe that was just a rock anthem thing i don't know but there's a lot to be said for this service 
uh, not just from what they're offering, but a quality of life. Just another added incentive to be like, you know what, I have the convenience of it right here. Why am I gonna go pay full retail price when I just have it now for 12, 15 bucks a month? As you can tell, I'm pretty sold on it. <laughs> to be honest, I'm quite sold. Oh, wow, that's it's a massive announcement. It might not sound like much to those that don't know better, but um, and that sounds like a jerk thing to say, but the ramifications if this is a massive success that could cause or contribute are quite huge. It, it can be very, very cool for us, but it can be very, very bad for the physical stores if people just have yet one more reason not to go out to shops. Sucks, it really does, uh, but that's just the way the world's going, unfortunately. Movies, comics, games, it's all going digital. It already is in some most parts of the world. Anyway, so look, that, that's just my thoughts. I am excited. I thought about it all day. <laughs> I was at work, I got the press release this morning before work and I was like, whoa, okay. And then I got to work, got to work and I started flipping through my phone, I was having my coffee. I'm just like, oh man, like everybody's talking about it. And you know, I just wanna show what I think about this and how excited I am. So let me know what you think. Do you think this is a good service? Do you think now that they're offering their big exclusive titles on this service, would that incentivize you more to pick up a subscription? So I'll catch you down in the comments below. Like the video, share it around if you liked it. Subscribe, I don't know why you haven't yet. And I'll catch you on the next video. Toodaloos. Uncle Chad. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe and check out some of my other recent videos. Have a good one.